Hello and welcome. This is a video for parents and students on how to use their ClassLink dashboard. So I've already logged into this ClassLink dashboard and you can see there's lots of buttons on here. Um, some have more buttons than others. Uh, you can create folders to organize those if you'd like to. Um, but so what these buttons do, there's two different types. There's ones that have the little key banner on the side of this and there's some that don't. The ones that have the key, it tells you that when clicking that button, it will automatically log in the student. So it'll push through the username and password automatically. So um, if I click focus, it'll, I don't have to log in to focus separately because I'm in my class link. Now there's a lot of uh, textbook buttons. Um, and so if your child is in a course, that uses McGraw-Hill or Pearson, um, then that button will take them to their textbook. So I'm gonna click Pearson for this student. And it's logging it in by itself. I can see the textbook that applies for Pearson for the student. If I had multiple courses that use Pearson, you'd see all of them here. And when I click that, it takes me to the textbook. So just going through there. So, um, you know, from there, if I had assignments and stuff, I'd be able to see it. I can go into the textbook itself. Each textbook company's platform certainly looks a little bit different, but generally you will see that type of outline where it'll, it'll show you the courses. It'll take you to the textbook. Um, if my child doesn't have a course that uses McGraw-Hill, for example, uh, if I try to click it, it'll say user not found or some sort of error like that. So if you're seeing that message and you think it's a mistake, then reach out to your teacher. But typically, if you're not supposed to have access to it because you don't have a course that uses that material, then it, that's, that's usually the type of thing you would see as an error message. Now, if I want to rearrange my buttons or put them in folders or change my color scheme, I can use this edit mode. It lets me create folders and input things in them. I can do different types of uh, visuals here as well. If I want to sign out, I can click here and click sign out and it brings me back to that page. But that is pretty much it. So that is ClassLink.